Hi friends, it's Miss Jess. I'm back again today to read a story about something called a hijab. If you don't know what that is, we're going to learn a little bit more today. Let's go. The Proudest Blue, a story of hijab and family by Olympic medalist Ittihaj Muhammad with S.K. Ali, art by Hatem Ali. The Proudest Blue, a story of hijab and family. Mama holds out the pink. Mama loves pink. But Asiya shakes her head. I know why. Behind the counter is the brightest blue, the color of the ocean. If you squint your eyes and pretend there's no line between the water and the sky, it's a first day hijab. Asiya knows it. I know it. We're sisters. The next day, I wait. A new backpack, new light up shoes. I feel special. I feel like twirling. Asiya comes out of the house and I stop. It's the most beautiful first day of school ever. I'm walking with a princess, so I pretend I'm one too. But even princesses have to stop to cross the street. Asiya takes my hand in hers and says, come on Faiza, we speed walk it. 14 steps, 14 light-ups to get across. Asiya takes me to my line first, hugs me goodbye. I turn to watch her leave, give a little curtsy to the princess going to the sixth grade area. She's easy to see. Her hijab smiles at me the whole way. My first day hijab is going to be blue too. What's that on your sister's head? The girl in front of me whispers. A scarf, I whisper back. I don't know why a whisper came out. I try again, louder now. A scarf, hijab. Oh, she whispers. Asiya's hijab isn't a whisper. Asiya's hijab is like the sky on a sunny day. The sky isn't a whisper. It's always there, special and regular. The first day of wearing hijab is important, Mama had said. It means being strong. I turn, but I can't see the blue anymore. I run to the big kid's side. 27 steps to see Asya. I need to give her another hug. I need to see her smile. Faiza? Asya's eyes wonder why I'm here. Are you excited? I ask. About the first day of hijab? She nods, smiling big, and I feel better. Someone laughs from nearby. A boy pointing at Asya. Why? Asya's hijab isn't a laugh. Asya's hijab is like the ocean waving to the sky. It's always there, strong and friendly. Some people won't understand your hijab, Mama had said, but if you understand who you are, one day they will too. In class, I draw a picture, two princesses in hijab, having a picnic on an island where the ocean meets the sky. The girl who whispered in line says she likes it. She says it's so loud the teacher comes over to see it. I wonder if Asya drew a picture too. Recess is time for five cartwheels in a row. I land the last one near the sixth graders, near Asya and her friends, near a boy yelling, I'm going to pull that tablecloth off your head. Asya's hijab isn't a tablecloth. Asiya's hijab is blue, only blue. Asiya turns away, her friends turn away. They race to the middle of the schoolyard, their shoes pounding the pavement, playing tag. Mama said, don't carry around the hurtful words that others say, drop them, they are not yours to keep. They belong only in those who said them. It takes me 48 steps to get away from the yelling boy. After school, I look around. I look for whispers, laughs, and shouts, but I only see Asya waiting for me like it's a regular day. She's smiling, strong. We cross the road hand in hand. I can't wait to get home to show Mama the picture I drew to so show Asya that I'm wearing the same hijab in it. Because Asya's hijab is like the ocean and the sky, no line between them, saying hello with a loud wave, saying I'll always be here, like sisters, 
like me and Asya. Thanks for reading with me today, friends. Have a great day. Bye.